Welcome back to our kitchen here on Hot Plate. I am Claire Karatu. And I'm Chef Bennett. Guys, if you're just joining us for the very first time, then we absolutely love the fact that you've tuned in today because we're about to make your experience in the kitchen mm -hmm. a little bit more fun. Yep. Now, we're bringing easy recipes to your home uh, with simple ingredients that we locally source. Now, guys, we do have a section where we have amazing people joining us on set and getting to cook with us as we get to know them. Our chef here has some amazing recipes which he has lined up and you can be able to catch up on every single one that's on YouTube, mm -hmm. Ebrew TV, Hot Plate, just to see the step by step. Now, guys, I love the fact that you've been inboxing us Mm, chef, chef and myself in regards to being on the show we will have you lined up and for all those questions and suggestions for meals that you would like to see being prepared here mm. and if you know that you are absolutely good at a specific recipe meaning you have perfected the art then we would love to have you on this set for you to share that recipe and show guys how to prepare it best yeah for sure for sure all right chef mm. i see one of my favorite things <laughs> no. <in the> world. <laughs> i'm just like so happy today uh, see like Azima. What do you have lined up for us? Okay, so today we're doing a pineapple fried rice. Pineapple fried rice. Mm. What you are, what when you say, either they are pineapple type of person, mm -hmm. I'm there. And usually it's on pizza. Yeah. Well, chef, are you a pineapple and pizza guy? Z. Why? But this one is good. I, <laughs> I am a pineapple on pizza, babe. I love a pineapple on my pizza. How are you? I love it. I'll definitely enjoy mm. that. And of course, for dessert, we're going to be making uh, my very own chocolate. It's like chocolate compound cake, mm. which is completely chocolatey, super moist, and easy to mm. make. Now, uh, Chef, mm. who is going to be joining us on set today? Okay, so person joining us today if you are a rock fan yes like moi like you uh -huh. yeah. it's dj eddie the grim reaper hey dj Terrible. eddie the grim reaper now i'm not too sure about that name <laughs> 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 okay. how are you mm -hmm. to have you on set today Pleasure. um i'm excited mm -hmm. actually karibu sana mm -hmm. welcome to hot plate so Shana. where did the name uh, come up from grim grim reaper the the you know there's this supernatural you know Yes. The the phenomenon the, itself, mm. yes. the Grim Reaper. Yeah. It's the imagery is kind of rock. Key, but true. but not in a dark way. It's just cool. It's just cool the <laughs> yeah. image of him. Yeah. All right. Okay. Plus also I in the past it. yeah. when when I was starting to DJ, yeah. I was I was I was very serious. Okay. I used to have this very Yes, yeah, so guys, it's a grim like, expression yeah. Yeah. on my face. Mm. Yeah. That's the reason it's actually called that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Plus, plus, there's also the TV show, At, which I'm a huge fan. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. So fair enough. So it fits perfectly. Yeah. Now, when did you start your DJing career? Uh, oh, oh, professionally. Professionally, yes. 2014. In 2014, yeah. is it something that you always wanted to do? Was like rock your passion, or do you just generally love all sorts of music? Um, no, I'm a rockhead. Yeah, you're a rockhead, <laughs> like, like proper. Like, like 99% rockhead. Now, th that's something that I wanted to ask. And I was asking <laughs> Chef the other day, <laughs> whatever happened to rock? I feel like it's dying Why? slowly. No, 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 it's, no, not. It's, actually, no it's not. Kenyan no, bands are coming through. They're dear. coming up. Yeah. We have a lot of rock. Kenyan rock bands. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm. And of course, we need to create that platform to be able to bring them out so that ignorant people like myself, <laughs> when it comes to rock, can be able to know, you know, some of the things that they're doing out mm. there. All right. Now, how has it been the journey so far, especially uh, being that rock is not that um, listened to, especially in our so, market? When you say not that listened to, <laughs> do, do you mean... In like a mat <laughs> or in yes, clubs? Yes, generally in clubs. We don't necessarily, we have sections that play rock and maybe just one station that plays rock fully. Sure. Yeah? yeah, yeah. So I feel like even the genres that Kenyans are putting out, now that you're saying there's a lot of upcoming rock artists, which is exciting to hear, mm. um, how has been that penetrating that market when it comes to music being the rock genre? Wow, which year do you want me to start with? I don't know, Where just tell me. Yeah, just tell me all of it. <laughs> okay, so they are fans. Yeah. I'll tell you that. They are diehard fans. Yes. In every show, in every live show I do, yeah. there are people who always have to show up. Love it. And there's the support. Yeah. As time has gone by, yeah. the, t the number of people that I interact with yes. just increase. Oh, mm. wow. And th there's so many rockheads out there. Trust you, me. Yeah. They're it's, there. It's, it's, it's they're a community hidden. that's there. Yes. So I know, I would love to know a lot, and we would love to know a lot about, mm. uh, you know, just the industry as a whole. Uh, but before that, do you cook? Uh, cooking up uh, trouble. 
Cooking trouble? <laughs> not cooking trouble. Okay, yes, I do cook. You do cook. Okay. Yeah, look at him oppose. I know, right? about cooking trouble. I was about to say so cooking up homework. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> We're talking about food here. Yes, food. Good food. Yes. Now, what is your ultimate go-to meal? Uh, wow, I would say... Depends with my mood. Yes. Um, if I'm looking for something very sugary, yeah. maybe wedges with chicken. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I feel that. I feel if that. If I'm feeling lazy, it's spaghetti with chicken. Oh, nice. <laughs> and if I have guests, it's rice with chicken. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. There's like menus to specific <laughs> moods. All right. Yes. I, I like that. I like that. How about you guys at home? Do you have that specific way that you prepare meals at home mm. whereby it's a lazy mood? You know what? I'm going to make this. I'm going to make that. And what are some of the meals that you make? All right. We're going to ask you kindly to please Please just wash your hands because yes. you will be joining us on set. Mm -hmm. And guys, we are just about to cook up two meals uh, with the help of our guest today as we get to know him. Now, I am super excited about the dessert because we're going to start with that. Mm -hmm. uh, Chef, is that okay with you? Okay, so fine. All right, so um, please kindly join us here. Here you go. Right. You can have some napkins. Okay. You're welcome. All right, now, Chef, what are you doing there? Okay, so let's start with the rice because we need it ready. Okay. So once it's ready, we can start with yours. So do you make desserts? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Do you enjoy cake? Yes. Okay, what is your favorite cake? Black Forest. Black Forest. Now, I like the sound of that because Black Forest has chocolate. Yes. So we're making a chocolate compound cake today. Awesome. And we're going to show you just some of the ways that you can be able to make sure that it is super moist. Okay. Not dry. Nice. We should buy, uh, what is it called, mm -hmm. cakey, and you're about to choke yes. because <laughs> because of how dry it, it is, is, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen. Of course, help you guys at home to ensure that it's super moist. Okay, mm. So what I'm doing here is adding um, about a quarter cup of milk, okay. and that is what is going to be used to melt our chocolate, oh. right? Yeah. All right, so you, I hope you know that today, when do you want to Kind of. Huh? You kind of have a clue, yes. right? All right, so what I'm going to ask you to do is, um, Chef, mm. let me just, I think this one you'll need to help him with the creaming. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, why I've asked him to do that is so that it can soften the butter, yeah? Okay. All right, so tell us a little bit more about DJing. Did you go to school for it? Did you teach yourself? I taught myself. You taught yourself? Okay, technically, mm -hmm. I, I come from Runga. Okay. I come from this the, the lost diaspora <laughs> of Angataronga. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's there's a club there. It's a bit famous. It's called Legend. Okay. So a long time ago, mm -hmm. uh, when I was very ambitious about rock music and DJing, yeah, I used to go there and I used to watch uh, a pal of mine. His name is Ke Ke Maina. Okay. DJ MV. Okay. Let me call him like okay. that. Okay. And uh, okay, so there was James Minor and there's, there's MV, DJ MV. Mm. So I used to go there and I used to watch them. Okay. And the, the two of them are very good, they're very talented. They still DJ until now. Yeah. And I would just sit there and be like, hey, what's that? Yeah. What are you doing there? Why did you push that? I love Why it. Why are you doing that? Yes. And I did that for like, I think about maybe six or seven months. Wow. Until I got the courage to stand up in front of a crowd and play. And play. Yeah. And now, like how, I, I love the fact that you actually took, you know, the initiative to ask questions. So a lot of people will just sit back and, and then they'll want gigs when they really just don't even know what they're no, doing. No, you have to learn. You have to and learn. And be passionate about it. Exactly. Yeah. Passion is also something that is such a driving factor. Yeah. All right, guys, now we have half a cup of butter and what we're going to do is add a quarter cup of regular sugar. Now, for chocolate cakes, you want to always add more sugar okay. because the Cocoa tends to drain that sugar away. The cocoa? Yes, the cocoa, okay. which you're going to put the cocoa powder, right? Uh -huh. All right, let me just make sure that chocolate doesn't burn. So you're just going to give that a mix as it melts. And what we have here is um, a cup of brown sugar, which I think I'm A about. cup? Yeah, <laughs> that's a cup. That looks a lot. It is a lot, um, as it should be. You know <laughs> why? Like I said, chocolate cake <laughs> tends to take away the sweetness. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to mix that up. So incorporate the sugar. Or like turn and pound? Uh, yes, and pound. Because I'm trying to get that the one that's stuck in there. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, to get out of that whisk so you can be able to mix it. Mm. Right? Mm. All right. Now, guys, uh, this is usually such... Um, a process because you have to make sure that you cream it now if you intend on putting less sugar then that's absolutely fine you can do so you can put less sugar um in there can i help you yes yes <laughs> it's such a huge chunk all right yeah so i'll go ahead and just mix it up for you and what we're doing is incorporating the sugar and the what is it called 
Yes, I, I, I can drink it now. All right. <laughs> now, guys, I'm adding um, a quarter cup of uh, oil. Okay. This is because you need all the moisture in there as mm. possible, right? And that's how I was saying there's going to be lots of aspects of uh, moisture. Mm. Chef, how is our chocolate going there? Almost, almost. Almost, almost. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is now ensure that I've incorporated. This is, should not be happening. Ensure that I've incorporated that oil, uh, the, the sugar, mm. uh, the butter in there completely. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Look at that. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> it's usually a workout. So at this point, guys, is where you want to add your eggs. The uh, yeah, it's, it's you bad. can go on mixing. Oh, yes, yeah. you can go on mixing. And, and add your eggs Ooh. one at a time. Okay. Is this okay? Mm. All right, guys, I have to make sure because I think it was in the fridge and I'm a bit skeptic about it being okay. All right, and then, um, so this one, we're going to add three eggs in there. Now, you can put four. It's um, absolutely up to you. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> I like the way he's cleaning as we go. Now, just add one at a time. Is it, is, it's a workout, isn't it? <laughs> Not really. Chef, I think our chocolate is ready. So you want to make sure. Mix, so. oh, yeah. that's, exactly. very, that's very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. <laughs> this is our mix, <laughs> mix table okay. right here. All right. All right, and then add the last one. Okay. Um, give that a mix completely. Mm. I don't think I'm going to add another one. Now, guys, I usually eyeball this. <laughs> So then I'm trying it as much as possible to give you what, 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 the what correct if measurement. You put too much eggs? If you put too much eggs, then mm. the consistency of the cake changes. Mm. Uh, so the key thing is to make sure you have a good batter. Okay. Um, that looks absolutely perfect. Mm. I, I am going to add just one more egg. Okay. Why? Yeah, I because help, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I, couldn't, <laughs> I really just couldn't help it. All right, I'm going to add one more egg. The fourth egg goes in there, guys. Uh, please remember the measurements. Mm. When it comes to baking, measurements are extremely, extremely important. Don't mm. eyeball like me, yeah? yeah. All right, so at this point is where I'm going to... That is perfect. You don't have to over-mix it. All right. You just want to make sure that uh, it's been incorporated completely. Mm. All right, so I'm looking for the cocoa powder. Okay, let me get you. Yeah. All right, thank you. Now, uh, how are we feeling about this mixing? It's a different kind of mixing, but it's all right, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now um, we're going to get right to a little bit more about what you do. Uh, but before that, I'm going to need us to take... Uh, now, this is called tempering uh, the, the batter. Because the chocolate is hot, you don't want to cook the eggs in there. Okay. So the first thing that you do is, is you can add a little bit of the mixture on the side with the chocolate. Or you can just... I need you to mix it for me. Mix it as I add, right? Or you can just mix it slowly at a time so that... Keep, keep mixing so it doesn't cook. Um, chef, thank you so much mm. for the cocoa. I'm going to need a lot more, but it's fine. It's hard. <laughs> All right, thank you. That is perfect. So you see what we've done is we've changed the temperature of the batter. So now when you add the rest of the chocolate, it's not going to be a problem. Be careful, it's hot. Yes, uh, see Yeah, that. yeah, so you don't want to burn yourself there, yeah? Just slowly as you go incorporating the chocolate in there. Um, I love it. Thank you so much, Chef. <laughs> now oh, this is... Does it smell already so good? It's changing. It's changing, yes. yes. All right, now slow down on the mixture because when I put the cocoa powder... Um, it's going to splash. So we have about half a cup of cocoa powder. Now, I love my cake super chocolatey. That's why you're seeing I'm adding the chocolate uh -huh. and the cocoa powder. And then what I'm going to do here is add the remaining chocolate mm. into that uh, mixture Mix. that you have there. And I'm going to need you to incorporate this very slowly um, as you go. Folding? Folding. You mm. can fold or you can just mix okay. it, but just be very, very gentle with it, yeah? And at this point is where I add a cup of flour into that concussion that we have there. Okay. Um, now, a lot of people usually do half flour, half milk, mm. half flour, half milk. You can do that, mm. and that helps you the consistency of your cake. But you see, for this, <laughs> let me help you there. Uh, he was being very gentle. Yes. Yes. Gentle. yes. I did tell you to be gentle, <laughs> which is perfect, right? <laughs> All right. Now, this is basically just making sure that that flour is incorporated in that batter. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. How amazing does it look? Yeah. This is how your chocolate batter looks before... Mm. It, it it goes in, it becomes a thing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna add the last batch of flour, uh, the last batch of cocoa in there. Um, I love the fact that this is gonna be super duper chocolatey. Yeah. yeah. All right, now what are some of the things that DJs hate? Because I love talking about this. We have so <laughs> many people coming up and like Mazinchazei, Mazinchazei, ah, bana. You know. So what are some of the things that you have experienced that you just totally hate? Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. <coughs> there, are, there are exaggerated versions of what you just said. Oh, really? <laughs> they are like, <laughs> Nichezehi. Uh -huh. Then 
they enter my booth. Oh no. And they're like stocky up and pago chairs. You serious? Yeah. You're kidding me. That's 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 version number one. Version <laughs> number two is mm. they're like in Jose, then I'm like, okay, just wait. And then they're like, they go to my PC and they're like, a Oh my goodness, <laughs> no! Yeah. No! Yeah. What do you do at that point? That's uh, so annoying. I, ju I just tell them the management doesn't allow them to go, you know, yeah. this far into my booth. So I tell them, to just, you know, just to relax and I'll play it later. Oh my gosh, and you sound like such a kind, humble person. I have I would, to be. I would probably flip <laughs> out if you touched my equipment. Yep. It's like when chef touches my recipes and I'm like, yeah, you know, good. don't be touching none of that. But yeah. chef, before we go on to yours, mm. what we're going to do is just the final step where you want to make sure that you grease your pan. Okay. Which I say? Greasing. Greasing. Because you have to do this so that kiki is uh, pan it itself. Exactly. It doesn't yeah. stick. Mm. So guys, I'm just going to grease this. And for the sake of making sure that you see the final product, I'm going to uh, put a very thin layer of that batter so that um, at least we'd all be able to taste it. Um... So I'm going to do two tins, depending on how much batter uh, remains. Mm. And after you grease it, you want to come with your flour and coat it with flour now completely. This is just the finishing touch. Uh, what this does now is creates even a better lining. If you have parchment paper, which is found in the supermarket, you can just go ahead and use that as well. Mm. All right, chef, what do you need him to do? Okay, let's need to clear up here first. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. To touch, uh, yeah. Right, uh, okay, so what are we gonna start fast with? Uh, this start this out here. This here. We have the pineapple here. Yeah. Yep. So what we're gonna use the pineapple for is we're gonna take the flesh mm -hmm. and then pineapple has flesh. Yeah. It's a me uh, Let's call it that. Okay. So, <laughs> so first of all, we're gonna cut it halfway. Okay. So just. Make sure you make pita. Uh, where is it? There you go. And then you make sure you just cut it in. Cut it in. Okay. That's the end of flesh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want you to take a knife. And then I just want you to follow my lead. All right. So, what we're going to do with this pineapple, we're going to remove all this. And then we're just going to make like a plate. This okay. is for presentation purposes. Okay. Yeah, so what you do is this no scatter the chini. Just make sure we put a space here. Seriously? Yeah, so just make yeah. sure you get that. I'm going not to. Yeah, I hope you have insurance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 chef. Let's not harm our guests, guys. No. Yeah. All right, <laughs> now, as they go joking. ahead and do remove that flesh. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this lovely tray of chocolate cake into the oven. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. look at that. You said now at 183, I'm no, gonna put it for 25 sure. minutes yeah. and just wait for that to go, um, get ready and rise. You don't wanna check on it, just leave it closed until it rises and then you wanna check with a skewer. You know the drill, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, Chef, I can see like he's, he's trying to get rid of, make sure you don't cut yourself there. All the way through? Yeah, all the way through. Okay. Okay. All right. If, if you had a smaller knife, yeah. Uh -huh. ah. it would better. Yeah. Uh, but don't worry. Smaller than this? Yes. <laughs> very small. All right. Now, Nobody. we've talked about some of your down moments where we have people walking into your booth. Yeah. Uh, but just getting yourself to the point that you are right now, yeah. what are some of your best experiences being a rock DJ? Wow. Um, wow. Yeah. They actually many. There are many, right? Yeah, I think I think one of the recent ones would be organizing my own show. Oh wow! And not just I I, I do shows alone, mm. but I do sh oh, recently I started doing shows with bands. Oh wow! Where where I call up a band and and can I just highlight a few Kenyan bands? Um, <laughs> we will in just. All <laughs> right. So there are bands out there that are really talented, and I yeah. work with them. Yeah. I've I've done shows with them and they work out really well. Yeah. Yeah. And wow, there are many. There, there are many. many but yeah. I, but I think my my biggest accomplishment would be playing. I've played nearly everywhere, whether it's near Lavington, near near Karen, yes. in my hometown, yes. in town. Like that. I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. And I'm sure the crowds are always different, but you will tell us a little bit yeah. more about that. Now, if you guys are just joining us, we have been in the kitchen cooking up a storm as usual. As usual. As usual. Now, uh, Chef has uh, pineapples that he is um, 
chopping up because he's going to show off a little bit with that pineapple, which is such an impressive way uh, to be able to, you know, show your guests your food skills, which uh, we've got our rice in the, in the pot. We've got our dessert in the oven. And of course, we're joined by a very talented guest who's getting to cook with us as well. Mm -hmm. How's the experience so far? Is it a lot of work? <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you're being totally honest about it. Uh, and, 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 you know, we'd probably feel the same thing if you had us DJing uh, yes. at night. Yes. Uh, yes. Now, do you guys ever get tired at one point? Personally, no. Okay. Of, of my, my longest record, mm -hmm. I've done a 12-hour show. Wow. Standing. Oh, wow. From 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. One, I, I did it in the CBD okay. once. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Would you say it's something that you would do again? Yeah, because I'm very passionate. Although my legs, after I'm done DJing, I feel like falling. I but, know, mm. yeah. But since I'm very passionate and time flies when you're DJing. Exactly. When you're interacting with your craft. Yes. It just moves. One minute, it's 9 p.m., you do a set. It's 1 a.m., you do a set, the show is over. Oh, wow. <laughs> and just like that, your day has gone. Yeah. All right, now, Chef, mm. I will be doing the honors of um, ensuring that this pineapple is sweet. Yes. Because we do not want to uh, put some bitter pineapples into our food. <laughs> it's fine. We're going to put sugar? Yeah. Okay, can, can oh, we? wow. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's that? Perfect. Do you it's like really pineapples? Good. Yeah. yeah. All right, Chef. Now, what's mm. going to be the next process to this? Um... Okay, so once we've made this, uh, we're going to start with the eggs, the shrimp. Mm -hmm. So what I would like uh, Eddie here yep. to yes. do is season the shrimp with some salt. Season it? Yeah, with some salt and pepper. So this is it? Yep. Yes. All right, guys. Now, we have some shrimp. Uh, Chef, one? can this you one? use chicken for those about pendangi this one, this one. shrimp? This one. Both. Prawns. Uh, uneza. Uneza. But Preferably shrimp. I think this one's good. Goes well with seafood. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, guys, you want to make sure that you use your shrimp. So we want to put just a little bit. Oh, eh? just go crazy that's, with that's it. That's too little. Yeah. Just, really? Just, yeah. Just uh, put yeah. a little bit more. I thought you said more. a little seasoning. Yes. That's a little. Uh. Let me show you. Oh, guys, at home, uh, in case you're wondering what a little means in terms of black pepper, mm -hmm. uh, this is what oh. a little means, right? So you want to make sure you just spread that completely. And then you, you can give that a toss or a mix with the same spoon. Mm. Uh, just go ahead and give that a mix. That's a little in, seaf in, in, in chef cooking. Mm. Have you never seen how they do a pinch of salt? Mm. It's never usually a pinch. pinch? It's, 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 it's finger pinches of yeah. salt because it's like all the fingers are holding the salt, right? Exactly. All right, so we're going yeah, okay. to go ahead and give that a lovely mix, which you've coated your, uh, your uh, prawns with some black pepper. Chef, what, go what do you need him to do next? Okay, so once that is... Some salt? Mm, yes, some salt also. Yeah. Just regular salt, right? Yes, yes so regular salt. salt. I like the fact that you've mentioned regular salt. Yeah, because what salt do you use? The, I've, I've seen several of them. Yes, yeah. there are very many in the market. This one is also a uh, no, pinch. No, this one, let me, <laughs> a pinch. let me go ahead and help you with this one because you. Um, what happens with seafood is it soaks a lot of seasoning very uh, fast. Yeah. So you don't want to over-season. There you go. You can just uh, go ahead and mix, mix that. that. You don't want to over-season that because it will soak that salt and you'll have very salty prawns which we do not want to have. Mm. So this one put a pinch. Uh, but when it comes to meats and chickens and um, whatnot, a pinch is the finger pinches. Nice. Right? All right, now, Chef, I see you have your walk out. What is that for? Yes, so we're going to start with the, the eggs. Yeah. And then we're going to put the shrimp on top. Yes. So your shrimp it flavor appear in my eye. Oh, wow. Mm. So, I love it. And I since we've already seasoned it, so we won't add any more season at the moment. Yeah. So this uh, oily oil. Pan. Look, All right, now you're going to be jumping there in a bit, but you can go ahead and have a drink as you oh, wait for that. Um, now, tell us, Eddie, um, DJ Eddie, if, if you had one person mm. that you would like to meet, especially, um, you know, the rock industry or even a musician or a DJ, mm. who would that be? What? Can I mention international <laughs> artists? Yes, 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 yes. So I, I came in here with a hoodie uh, written, written Foo Fighters. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the lead singer of Foo Fighters, his yeah. name is Dave. Yeah. Legendary. I, I would love to meet him. He, he, he's he's the best. He, the, if you Google Dave, yeah. Dave Grohl, the, yeah. he first of all he plays all the instruments. Oh wow! Yeah. So he sings for his band. You you should you're plays speaking to. A, we have a choir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you. No no no. He's, he's here, like, guys. I don't know if you see this at home, but Chef is like um, in some preaching. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. I am with you. Uh -huh. He sings for he the sings. band. Yeah. He screams for the band. Yeah. yeah. He plays guitar. 
He plays also drums. plays drums. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not just in Foo Fighters. Yeah. He's been in Nirvana. He's in, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's been he's in, in the Stone Age. Yeah, them crooked vultures. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm sure you're not even meme. Yeah, the Edge, the Edge, man, the Stone Age guy who's sitting like this when guys are talking about. Oh! That's me right now. When they're talking about this guy, okay? I feel like that ape man right now. But here's the thing that, that's not even what makes him awesome. Yes. There's this one time he fell off stage. Oh my gosh. And he broke his leg. Oh. Yeah. He got back on stage, put a cast and continued playing. <laughs> true story. Yeah, it's true. That's a true story. <laughs> that is the true meaning of the show must go on. <laughs> and now we're just about uh, to crack the eggs because chef is taking us so, uh, step by step on this go. rice, yeah. pineapple rice, which I'm excited about. Mm. All right. Now, chef, what's, what are you doing there now and what do you need him to do? So I just want him to scramble those eggs. Okay. Please. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. Trust me, I do this a lot at home. <laughs> Mayai. Yeah. Mayai is bay, right? Yes. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna just maybe a small pinch. Mm -hmm. small All right. Okay. So once that's cooking, yeah. we're gonna add the shrimp. So you'll just move them on the side. Oh, the eggs? I just move them yeah, up? Just move them okay. on the side. Okay. So, then we're just gonna add the shrimp on top. Now, that, Chef, I see that's very low heat. Is that going to reduce the, yeah, release the waters of the shrimp, which you don't want? Ah, okay. Yeah. Thanks, All right. thanks for that. No worries. Yeah. All so, right. Koroga. A bit of everything. Yeah, let's uh, mix it up. Okay. Yeah. Now, Chef, I always love Chef makes things look so easy. Mm. So, you know, when you know it, you get toa, to pick a mayai, to toy, to pick a shrimp. But this just goes out to show that you can make a one-pot meal and yeah. it will come out just it's okay delicious. To pour, to. All right. Now, Chef, how do you know when your prawns are ready? Uh, turn pink. They turn pink. Yeah. Because if you cook them longer, so you know what happens. They get chewy. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so you don't want to overcook your prawns. Don't want to overcook your prawns. Don't Oh, seafood, nini, oh, cook for one hour. Chafazali, please. No. Don't kill the shrimp, guys. Uh, all right. So, now I'm chilling in Maiva. Yes. And then what happens? So we, this we're just gonna put it on the side. Yeah. Uh, once uh, we've already mixed up everything, so we're mm. gonna start with the vegetables. Okay. Which are mixed uh, vegetables. Yes. You can use any. You can use peas. You can use carrots. Mm. You can use All right. Yeah. So I just keep going. Keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Keep All right. Yeah. All right. Now, um, DJ Eddie, um, what are some of your visions? Uh, seeing yourself uh, being in the industry, you know, since. Uh, when you mentioned, um, how do you see this year coming and even the years to come when it comes to, you know, being a rock DJ? So the other, the other day, yeah. Uh, when I say the other day, I mean February 9th. Okay. We had the uh, Nairobi Rock Festival. Oh, wow. How uh, was that? Uh, it was, it was, it was, it was, dude, it was. I know, I, I <laughs> couldn't make it. You couldn't day. make it, <laughs> was, We didn't get a babysitter. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. Time. So we, yeah. Had, we had one international band. I was DJing mm. and we had, I think, Four Kenyan bands. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was pretty huge turnout, and the vision is bigger bands, more international bands, mm. bigger crowds, yeah. bigger venues. Yes. That's 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 basically I. That's my vision. Okay. Mm. Personally, but but basically to grow the music, mm. and just take it back to where it used to be a long while. Because a long while ago, you know, a thousand or a thousand people attending a show was just you know bare minimum. Exactly. And I wanted to oh go my back gosh, there. Like they used to have this Rock Wednesday. Whatever happened to that? Sorry. Every Wednesday they used to have Rock Wednesday. <coughs> I used to on, show up on that <laughs> thing. I can't mention where it was, but yeah, they used to have it somewhere in on Langata Road every mm -hmm. every oh, Wednesday. Oh, that was that was way back. Wow, exactly. that was that was a long time ago. Hey, we're not trying to reveal my age. Here. <laughs> All I'm saying <laughs> All I'm saying is that I liked it, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and that I hope is something that will be able to be brought back. Yeah. All right guys, now we are just about to get to the best part. Uh meaning our food is about to get ready, but meanwhile, let's go on a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, guys, in the kitchen with DJ Grim. When you're in the flesh, eh? <laughs> So, we're, okay, these are the shrimps we cook at the yes. So, we should chuck them out, these are clear. Yes. Then we can now start. Oh my gosh. Na, na garlic, mm. na pili pili. Okay, so we're gonna take this so out. Let's put them in that dish. Oh my and gosh. Then we can start. Are you sure you want me to do this? 
I know the Anja. Ah, let me help you there. All right, yes, yes. All right, thank you. Be careful, chef. I'm just gonna flip this over. Now, chef, on the so ah. Don't be my first time. Ah, okay, chomeka. Oh my gosh! There you go. Good job. Now, chef, thank you. What do you need him to do next? Okay, so this punguza moto. Yes. Would you add some oil in there, please? This one. Yes. How much? Then here we have some garlic. Uh, How much? Yes. Like a bottle? I'll top? tell you when. <laughs> I love the fact that you asked like a bottle top. Do you measure when? your oil with a bottle top? <laughs> Sorry? You measure your oil with a bottle top. Well, we measure medicine the same way. <laughs> it's like you, and then you use the bottle top too. Yeah, so the oh, same, same thing. Zigo mm. sawa? Mm. Okay, so start with the garlic. Okay. Gonna dice them quickly. Just take you after you try make a sana. Then. All right. Now, um, our cake has been going for a while now. No. We have about 10 minutes to go, guys. So we just want to make sure that it gets ready wow. perfectly. 10 minutes only? Yeah, we've got only 10 minutes to go. Oh, it's okay. looking pretty good. Um, I'm excited about that. Can't wait for you guys to try it. All right, Chef, now you want to dice your um, garlic? Yes. So we're just going to put everything together. Okay. So we have the garlic. Let me just add one more clove. Mm -hmm. The cloves, and then we're gonna add some chili. Okay. Just to spice it up, Kidoga. Now, are you okay with chili, sir? Me? Sir DJ Eddie. I told him the chili should be. Kwambali. I do take chili. I do take chili. I do take chili. But there's, there's this one time I had a run in with. with, with um, there's this lady, I think she was from the coast. Yeah. She made rice with, with black pepper. Oh, okay. So I think I drank more water than than took more. Food. <laughs> it was so <laughs> hot. It was peppery. And yeah? and and for her she was she was adding she was adding <laughs> she was Chili. hot Raw. and sweet <laughs> more of it. And I was like, how are you doing this? What what magic trick I is this? I don't know. There's a lot of people who are uh, their palates have become used dull. to chili. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They, they become dull. Yeah. So um, okay. So chef, in goes the onions. Yes. Okay. Uh, Change this, please, because we'll need to add the vegetables soon. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna get it boiled. So, koroga, koroga, koroga. Okay. Huh? All right. Yeah. So, the rice is ready. Yes. We're gonna put the rice first. Okay. Then put the vegetables. Okay. And then now we can finish with the shrimp and then the pineapples at the mm. end. Then we can just top it up with some fish sauce. Yes. And, and and you guys want to be careful because fish sauce tends to be salty. Mm. That's why you, you said you haven't put too, too much, much seasoning. seasoning. Exactly. Yeah, mm. because what happens is that fish sauce will add to the seasoning, yeah. will add to the saltiness, which is exciting. All right, now, how do you feel so far about the cooking, DJ? It's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth, he's, right? He's really good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I'm good, but he's really, he's really good. <laughs> All right, now, Chef, we see that that's uh, broccoli, carrots. Um, what else is in there? Um, uh, sugar snaps. It's not sugar snaps. It's peas. Sugar snaps? I think it's snow peas. Snow peas. It's either snow peas or sugar snaps. Mm. So the sugar snaps are usually the thick ones, and the snow peas are usually the flat ones. Mm. Uh, uh, and you can find them in the supermarkets as well. Uh, so that's gone into, we just want to blanch them slightly, yeah? Yes. Because you want, sorry, ah, sorry about that. <laughs> you want it to remain crunchy. That's right, that's right. Right? <laughs> yes, you want the, uh, yeah, we want them crunchy. Yeah. So we have the rice here. Tongue is there too, up for your dish, you We get something to put. Yeah. All right, now, DJ, I'm going to ask you, because this is something that I feel is changing in our homes, whereby when you come and you tell your mom, I want to be a DJ, and they're like, DJ Sani Kaze Nagani. I feel like that's changing. And what was your experience like? Can I shout out to my mom? Yes. You'll probably watch yes. this. Hi, yes. mom. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so my mom was like that, but not, not that she was like, Gigeni <laughs> Kaze mm. She was like, you know, you seem pretty, you know, passionate about it yeah so I don't know whatever you just do it mm. yeah so uh, I think the thing is it's good to it's good to 
do work that pays you, but also it's good to do work that you're passionate about. That's yeah. true. Because even when things get tough, That's you true. want to get up and try and make things better. Mm. Yeah. Instead of just working for a paycheck mm. all the time. Oh, that is yeah. so true. I love that you said that passion just gives you that drive that you need to get to where you want to get to. So a big shout out to moms out there and dads. We never forget dads who support their children uh, towards achieving their dreams. All right, Chef, you want to come chill and Danny? Yeah, so I love what? Anazuba. Hey, Anazuba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to give that a mix. You Give can go ahead and mix. have, uh, you still need him, Chef, yes? yes? He's going to pass you the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, go on, go on. I will yeah. check on the cake. Um, uh, just a few more minutes to Which go. I absolutely is love it. Okay. Um, mm. I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. Huh? You and me both. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, uh, that's going. Now, Chef, how are you sure? Should the rice be al dente or is it okay to have it as It's okay is? because even this you can use... Um, leftover. Yeah, leftover, leftover is better. Leftover rice, yeah. You can use that and cook this a delicious meal with that. Yeah. Yes, because it's dried down, yeah. so it's going to soak in those Everything, ingredients yeah. perfectly. Mm. All right, now okay. a little bit of a mix. You can see the onions are also giving it color. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I love the bright pop of blanching those vegetables that you yeah. have there. Let's do this. We can add the shrimp first, and then we'll add the, the vegetables later. OK. So I'm just going to give that. Good. So in oh, goes the mix. egg and the shrimp. Mm. I love it. And then what goes next, Chef? Okay, so we're just gonna give it a good mix again. Okay. And then we can start with the uh, pineapple because steak to make juice mob. Yeah. We'll just use the flesh pekaika. Yes. So I'm just gonna pick it. Okay. Pick it so we're gonna pick at it, guys. You don't wanna use the juice because then you're gonna have some sweet, sweet rice. Oh, uh, so just pick at it a mm. little bit. Right now, Chef, I can see that you shr almost shredded those. Yeah. This one's just uses a chini. Yes. Mm. Okay. That's simba. Yeah, simba. So I'm, not, I'm yeah. not even gonna put a lot. Yeah, just a little this bit is, just to get that yeah. bite in mm. there. Yeah. All right, that's perfect. And what's going to be the next process? Okay, so we have some lemons here. We have mm. some parsley, which is going to finish it up okay. as a garnish. Yeah. Uh, let's say this is ready. Mm -hmm. We can drain it and then add it up. I love okay. the fish sauce. And then we're done. Yeah. Here we go. All right, now I love that. Uh, meanwhile, guys, remember we had just uh, popped a cake into the oven. So we're gonna give it a little bit of a check there just to make sure that it's ready as soon as I find a skewer or not. Skewers, Oh, okay. See guys, Chef knows his kitchen very, very well. Yeah, I got you. You got me. Thank you so much. All right guys, so grab your skewer. Uh, you wanna come on straight to the oven and don't be shy. Okay, that looks pretty ready to me. Uh, okay, so we've got just a bit Ooh. of a way to go. You want to make sure that it Ooh. comes out mm. clean. <laughs> so we've got just a bit of a way to go, but it's pretty much almost ready. I'm excited about that. Mm. Wow. Um, but how but you but feeling? Is, is, it a, is it a workout? This looks amazing. It looks amazing yeah, with the pop of color, yeah. with the rice. Yeah. Um, a chef, are we going to put any soy sauce in here? No. No, so no soy sauce. So what we're going to do is add the... Um, the give, this, give it first a taste. If the rice is too salty, Let you me can do it. Right. Thank you. Of fish sauce in, you know, to yeah. All right. So, guys, you want to make sure that you taste uh, your rice. Uh, don't don't be Kenyan whereby we just put it in our mouth and we and we <laughs> right through it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that a little bit of a blow uh, straight into my paw. Woo. Oh my how, god. How is it? Mm. How is it? Mm. 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 There's even no words. Oh, wow. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more of that fish sauce. Okay. Just to make sure we got that pop going on there. Now, Chef, can you use light soy sauce for this? Uh, you can, mm -hmm. but fish sauce will be enough because cool. then it, you need... Yes, yes. Mm. So you don't want to add too much. Oh, you can, if you don't have fish sauce, you can use soy sauce. Okay. Yeah. So it's up to you guys. Mm. And of course, you got that fishy smell oh, popping out of there. Do you, do, 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 do you know how fish sauce is made? No. It's disturbing. It is? Yeah. Do you really want to know? <laughs> you don't want to no. know. Okay. So guys, please do your research Google. all on your own and Google how it's made. Uh, Chef, what do we have there? Oh, this is for the garnish. Yeah. 
I think we're pretty much done here. Okay. I'm gonna give it a taste and then we can. All right, give that a taste. Let us know there. what you think. Ikosawa. Mm. All right, now we're down to the best part, which um, chef, he's going to need to turn that off now so you don't overcook uh, yes. the rice. The and do you remember why you were cutting up that pineapple? So chef is going to show you what you're going to do with the pineapple yeah. cover. Yeah. Get your own, your own so grab your pineapple, pineapple cover. Plate. So guys, you don't want to cut through your pineapple case. You don't want to cut uh, the leaves out. What you're going to do is use that as your plate. How amazing yeah. is that? Yep. I know, right? Make it look all pretty. So everybody gets their own pineapple cased uh, rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Okay, so meanwhile, the cake is going. I just want to make sure that it cooks perfectly. So that adds this exotic look. Um, you know, it adds that touch of, you know, just plating practice. Can you smell? It smells amazing, it's no? It's so good. It smells good, right? Okay. And you finish it off with some, what's that, chef? No, it's just parsley. Just parsley. You can use, um, what's it called? Uh, onion. Spring onions? Spring onions. Spring onions. Yes. You All right, go ahead. Onions. Plate yours. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, we heard our cake beep. Thank you so much. Uh, so meaning it's pretty much ready, which is perfect. We're just going to take this out. Mm -hmm. And you can decide if you want to topple it over on a plate, but I'm just going to cut it right here um, on this very tray. You, can um, you may go ahead and have a seat. Mm -hmm. Love it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cube it. Now, already you can see how moist that is, no? Mm. This is perfect with like ice cream or you can drizzle some chocolate ganache on it. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the recipe. If you have a bigger tray, you can go ahead and use that bigger tray. I just wanted to show the, be the basic recipe so that you guys can be able to prepare it at home, right? All right, now um, I'm going to put this on a, tr on a plate for you. Ma, ooh, look at you, chef. Always <laughs> has some secrets up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And what we're going to do is just take this out as chef does his little thing there. I think I want this middle one because it's got like this, it doesn't have the sides, right? I'm so sorry. You don't have to have this one. This one can be mine. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this spoon. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, chef. And then I'm going to grab this right here what, place what that, that on you ice cream ice cream wow <laughs> and place it for you right on the side right and i'm going to ask you to grab a fork okay. because you are going to taste the food i'm going to you're going to taste the one that you plated let me move this for you chef may i have that please Guys, if you're just joining us, uh, we are sorry. We're just about to get down to eating. You can start with whichever you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and taste that with you. Thank you, Chef. All right. Tell us what you think. Okay. All right. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? It's it's just the right amount of solid, but with with what did you, moist? Moist. <laughs> yes. It's moist. It's, ex it's exactly. I'm gonna go right ahead and, and try it's the, that. It's the right balance. All right, and I'm gonna ask you to also try the rice that you had made um, earlier with Chef. Okay. Excuse me. So yum. Can add the lemon just mm -hmm. to. Oh, <laughs> make sure you add the lemon on there, guys. With that fancy schmancy plating we have there. What do you think? I'm still eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just about to join you on that. And of course, from at home, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for joining us on set. Uh, absolutely love your work mm. and keep doing what you're doing me. yes all right now guys we're about to continue eating enjoy making this at home and of course tune in next next episode of hot plate mm. i'm claire Carato. and i'm chef bennett good night guys bye <laughs>